Hey ladies, this is Samantha Thompson, Executive Director with 31, and I'm going to show you start to finish how to post to a party on Facebook through SenseShare. So I like to do groups for my parties. I have another video that shows you how to do events, but I'm going to make this one for groups. So first you're going to go to your homepage and go down to the bottom here and hit Create Group. Next you're going to name your group. So I'm naming mine Samantha's Amazing April Facebook Bash. And then you have to add somebody to it. So I don't ever add my hostess until I know that she's sent her messages to her guest to make sure that um, they don't get just added to the group and that she asks them before she adds. So usually what I do is add my husband because I have to create, um, I have to add someone to be able to create the group. So usually I add him and then just go in and remove him. So I hit create group. And then you choose an icon. I usually like to choose the same icon each month for my parties just because it makes it easier for me to keep track of. So now that my group is created, I'm going to upload a banner. And usually I get these from 31 Today. So they're right on the marketing page for the month. So I'm going to go ahead and go into where I know I have my banner saved. Here, I'm going to upload my April banner and hit Save Changes. And then at this point, I always add my description because I want this to be at the bottom, um, not in the middle of my posting. So I always do the description next. Um, so I have that saved um, as a standard thing and I just copy and paste it. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to type something really quick. So typically my description is longer. It has, oops, it has um, information about the party. It has my personal information for people to contact me and information about the special as well as the link to the party. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Then the next thing that I do is I post my welcome and that's not something um, that I batch post. So I just post that right away because I want that to be the first thing guests see when they log into the party. I don't want that to be something that comes later. So I go ahead and post my welcome. And again, this is something that I have in my script. I just copy and paste. So it says stuff about me. And it always tags my family, so I have to untag them. Okay. So now I have my party set up in Facebook. So the next thing that I do is click on Sense Share, and I'm already logged into Sense Share here. So um, you're going to click on this second tab here that says My Networks. And then once you do that, you have to hit the Refresh button so that it pulls up all of your um, groups and events. So from this point, I'm going to go down and find my party. So here it is right here, and I'm going to put make this um, heart black instead of green. So that means it's, I'm putting it in my network, so I want it to show up on my page. From there, all I need to do is go um, back to my regular dashboard, and you can see here's the party right here. So now what I'm going to do is go into... Um, my history. And for me, I have already, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to go to manage post. For me, I already have a party uploaded. So if you've never done this, then you're going to have to start right here and you're going to have to post your text, choose your photo, upload your graphics and do that and schedule it for your party. So like, let's say I haven't done that before. I'm going to hit open. Okay, so I'm going to do my um, 
two party posts. So my first one is just a link to the catalog. This is my second one. So I would have to go in here and then do pre and then I'm going to type all my stuff, whatever it is. And then I'm going to choose my date that I want it to post my time. And then I'm going to unclick myself because this will post right to your timeline. If you don't unclick this, and I'm going to choose where I want it to go. I'm going to post to this today at one o'clock. And then I'm going to hit schedule. And then you can see my post is scheduled. So if you've never done this before, then you're going to need to go in and schedule out a whole party. Once you've done that and you have it scheduled out, then you can, for every other party after that, you can just click on manage posts. And then I start up here by going to the party that I know um, is posted. So for March, I'm sorry, for April, I did just pull a March party, change my special post, and then I could post the rest. So this one's already been done. Um, so because it hasn't posted out yet, I have it in pending. I'm going to click on pending. So this, you can see, is all my posts. So I have my pre-party post one and two, and then all the way through to last call for orders. So this is what you do. Simple and easy. And my screen is kind of off a little bit. Let me see if I can minimize this so you guys can see it better. Okay, so I'm going to click this button right here. I'm going to hit select all. Now from this point, let's say it's May and I don't want my special to post, but I want everything to post. I can unclick a box. And then I'm going to click. So once I have everything selected that I know I want to post, I'm going to click on this and hit batch post. So that means it's taking all of those posts and it's going to ask me where I want to put them. So I'm going to put them on Samantha. And I want my, I've already scheduled, let's say my, um, first post. And so I want this one to go at maybe like four o'clock today. So I'm going to change my time frame. And then I'm going to hit apply interval. And then you see it automatically kind of changes all the rest of my posts to be on that same schedule as whatever I did when I first um, posted my party. So now that I've got that done, I can go in here and I can adjust, like maybe I want this one to be a little bit earlier in the day, or maybe it's a Saturday morning, so I don't want to post it at 8 a.m., I want to post it at 9 a.m. instead. I can kind of go in and adjust this. Maybe I'm changing my close date, and so instead of closing on Saturday, I'm going to do it on Sunday. I can go in and adjust that information as well. Then this is the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to click this little thing that looks kind of like binoculars. This is called Find and Replace. So this party that I posted from was Amanda's. So I'm going to find every time that I wrote the word Amanda, and I'm going to change it to Samantha, because that's my new hostess. And then I'm going to hit search. And you can see it goes through and it finds every time that I said Amanda, and it changes it to Samantha. So I can just double check and make sure that it caught them all. I know every other post I, my first post of the day has my hostess's name and then my other two are generic. So, I've got that done. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom here. I'm going to hit update posts. So now they all have my hostess's name. Now the next thing I'm going to do is hit find and replace. And I know that in this one, this is Amanda's pretty link. So I'm going to click copy. And that's going to be my tests to find. And then let's say I'm going to put in my new hostess. So let's say this is her order for her party. This is actually a consultant that I'm doing right now. So now I've got the party links. So now you can see it's searching and it's finding every time that I put Amanda's party link and it's replacing it with the new party link. How awesome is that? So I don't have to go through and update all of these. And again, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. I'm just double checking, make sure that it updates it every time, and I would hit update post. From there, if I've got everything changed that I want to in the post in terms of names and links, and I have my time set up exactly how I want, 
Then I just hit this button that says schedule batch. Again, you want to make sure you take it off of you because everything automatically posts to your timeline unless you uncheck it. So I'm going to hit schedule batch. And then if I go back up here to this page, and then I click on Samantha, I can filter it, and click on scheduled date. You can see it's got all, oops, that's the wrong one. So you can see it has all of my posts. And then I can also go in and edit these individually. Let's say, oh man, I meant to change this time and I didn't. I can hit edit change the time, change some wording, or do something like that. So that's a quick, simple, easy way to post to your Facebook. You can see that took me, you know, less than 10 minutes to create the group and then also schedule all the posts. Now all I have to do is just go in and comment each day and answer any questions. But my party is done in literally 10 minutes. Hope this helps you guys. Have a great day.